Okay, so we're back and um, we're going to do this area, the whole area, the top of the kind of eyelid area in this lovely um, light blue. Just laying the colour in there, not really going too dark, just making sure that we've got it in all over. I mean, you can see I really don't try and colour anything too perfectly. Then the next thing we're going to do, build up the colour a little bit from the eye, the inside of the eye. I'm adding a turquoise colour and I'm using um, Pret Kids Art. Again, I'm not even going very hard, but just blending those colours together so you start to see a bit of detail in the corner of the eye. I don't wear eye makeup at all, but boy oh boy do I love colouring it in. It's such fun. Okay, there we go. And um, even to give it a little bit more kind of depth, just a tiny bit of purple. Here we go, just blend it in nicely like that. Going to add in a little bit more detail in the corner over here. You can see I'm going very gently. Right. Just a little bit here. And I'm going to add in a touch of this magenta Furby that I've been using. Again, just in the corner there. fiddle a bit with the eye makeup, I sometimes find myself going back to it, so I think for now we can, we can just leave it like that. Um, a couple of other things with doing eyes, we need to put in a bit of pink on the inside of the eye, it's kind of what makes it look alive. So I always start building this up with quite a lightish pink. Um, but darker in the corners, there we go, just in the corner there and then on the inside of like where the lid is. And the teeniest, tiniest smidgen of this colour is the Crayola, it's called Mahogany, it's a brown, reddish brown colour. Just slightly, slightly, slightly in there. You almost like don't touch just to put a bit of depth. And in the corners. There, it starts to make it look alive. Um, I've left this colour for now. It's kind of peachy skin colour. Probably will come back and add something to it, but for now I think it looks okay. Alright, another thing that I want us to move on to is the section over here where the wings are. So I often get questions about how do we make something look goldish and what I like to do for that, very simple really, is to outline um, in orange. So this is the tri plus fine line in orange and I'm going to go over this area as you can see. Once so you've done all the outlining in orange, we're going to cut it in yellow. It seems like everything has been colored in, in yellow. It is really, it's a fantastic base color for everything. It really does work. Just going off all the lines here with the orange. These lines that are darker, gives a chance to just go, sometimes you have to go feather light, like these lines, you can see they're tiny, these little lines, just chop, chop, chop like that. This one also, not too dark, these lines need to be light. Don't be scared to add these lines in, they're all going to get coloured in anyway. Also, don't forget to do both sides, the inside and the outside of these lines good definition. Ok, 
Okay. I think we've got that. The next step is to do yellow. Um, I'm going to use the Pret Kids Art Yellow. And just quite lightly lay the color down. Always a little bit lighter at the tips. You know, always as, um, as you're coloring, I think you kind of just make provision for the light, the, the very, very high light at the tip. So that's not, there we go. Next thing, add in some orange. Using the Crayola, I'm going to use the color that's called yellow orange and start adding in along where the shadow definition lines are, just a bit of orange. Blends really nicely with the yellow. If I was doing something and I wanted like kind of a bright goldy effect, maybe something that you know kind of looks brassish, I'd add in a bit of brown. But because we're doing this and we want it to be a little bit brighter than that, I'm going to use red to give it a bit of zing. So there we go, that already starts to look interesting. Um, an orange red works quite well. I've got this teeniest tiny little piece of Crayola red, so I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use this one, it's a polychroma, and um, it's the color that's called Pale Geranium. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just start adding that in right there at the edge. You can see where holding up the dark colour. The pencils are sharp, you can get in there quite nicely, you know, blend it all in. This is also something I sometimes I come back to, you know. Um, I think you can bold colour up, it's very difficult to take it away, but it's, it's easy to kind of add. So sometimes this gets done a bit incrementally. And now you can see already we're starting to have a lovely kind of golden kind of effect. And just to give it some real zing, I'll go with the yellow afterwards as well and go and colour in dark so that you almost have kind of four tones with a a lighter and darker yellow. And yellow also works as a really beautiful blender color. So when you get it in there, it blends the yellow and the red and the orange together. It's really great. So this is done actually especially for my friend Elaine who loves his Criolas and always asks about this. There we go. I hope that, um, that kind of makes sense. And um, the next step would obviously be to do the same on the other side and this very outside line along here needs to get done with the dark pink. We'll catch up with each other a bit later.